Hey guys, it's Miss Alina Mina here, and if you've been wondering what the new Lorac Porefection Foundation is like, then you gotta watch this video. So I'm gonna show you guys my actual first impressions, because I haven't put this on yet, of the Lorac Porefection Foundation. And I've heard a lot of things about it, so I'm very excited to do this. I don't have anything on my face aside from primer. Before I get started, thumbs up this video if you like these first impression videos. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing my first impression on this foundation, be sure to keep watching. Alright, so like I said, I have a primer on my face. I already did my eyes. The color I got was PR5. I got it at Ulta, but they have it at Sephora as well. You can also get it on the Lorac website. It's $36 which is not too expensive compared to the other higher-end higher, higher end brands. It's oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, and it's got SPF 20, which is pretty good for a foundation. Unfortunately, everybody seemed way too busy to help me at Ulta, so I had to color match myself, which doesn't really work out when you have foundation on already. So I did the best I could with color matching, so this is going to be pretty interesting, I think. But even if it's not the right color for me, at the very least, I can tell you guys about the texture and how it applies. So when you take it out, you get a pretty large size bottle. It is 1.12 flowing ounces. It's a pretty decent size. What I do like is that it is a see-through container. So that way you know how much product you have left. I hate when products have like a non-see-through container because you don't know how much you're getting from the beginning, which is kind of sketchy and you don't know how much you have left as you're going along. So, just random facts, this foundation, I just got it like a couple weeks ago, and the expiration date is September 2015, so it lasts a long time, and the pump will help from it drying out. So it's got a lot of anti-aging antioxidants, like vitamin A, vitamin E, olive leaf extract, lemon fruit extract, papaya fruit extract. Yeah, it's supposed to keep your skin healthy, youthful, and radiant says it can be applied lightly for a sheer finish or layered for full coverage. It says shake well before use. So we're gonna shake it. It says you can apply it with a brush, a sponge, or even your fingertips. All right, so what I usually do is I put it on my hand and then I kind of dot it around, so yeah. And I'm gonna be using the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror right now. So that's how it comes out. It's very liquidy, even though it's in a pump form. Usually when it's in a pump form, you're thinking of, you know, sometimes it being a little moussey. It says it's fragrance-free, which is true, but it obviously does have a scent. And the scent, it kind of, it just smells like sunscreen. And that's because it's got the SPF in it. It feels like a regular foundation. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel too thick or heavy like the... You know, it's not thick like a Revlon Color Stay Whipped or anything like that. It's just like a regular foundation, but it does smell like sunscreen. So if you don't like that smell, don't cut this. use a viewfinder to do this. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I checked in the mirror because I had some spots that just weren't blended in. But I definitely feel like I chose the right color for myself, which is great. So I don't have to return it. Yay! But what's cool is it doesn't set very quickly, so you can really, you know, take your time with blending it out. So I'm just going to zoom in. So this is with one coat. As you can see, it does a pretty good job. I, I am wearing the Benefit the Professional as far as primer, but it does a pretty good job with um, coverage. Obviously I need concealer and stuff. But what you can do is we can go ahead and do a second coat so you can see how the coverage builds up. One thing I'll mention is that I don't like when the pumps don't close. Not because I feel like it's going to spill, but it just leaves it more susceptible to, to air getting in, I feel like. Yeah, I definitely think uh, two coats is the way to go. So 
as you can see, it gives some really good coverage. I don't have concealer there, but you could see that it's really made a difference as, how, as to how it looks. So one trick that I use when using a pore perfecting foundation is when you get to the areas that you have a lot of uh, larger pores is to dab the foundation in just like you would the primer. You're going to dab it in so that it makes sure it gets into those pores. With a flat kabuki brush or a wet beauty blender, it's really going to get the product in there and smooth it out. Overall, I think that this is a pretty good foundation. I've been wanting to try it for a while, so I'm really excited that I finally got to try it and that I got to try it with you guys. So if you've tried this foundation before, let me know what you think about it down below in the comments or if this is another high-end brand that I should try or that you want me to review, put it down in the comments as well. I'm always looking for new products and new things to try. So I'm really actually happy with how this turned out because boom, you throw some concealer on there and I'll be set to go. Be sure to check out my blog, I'll link it down below. In a couple days I will tell you how this held up for the remainder of the day. And yeah, be sure to thumbs up this video if you like these kinds of first impressions, talk with you reviews. And be sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya!